Hi everyone and welcome to the Māori Manawatu. I'm Nadine Hootema, the Technical Specialist in Animal Nutrition for the North Island for PGG Ranson. We're here today to talk about calf rearing and calf nutrition, especially from birth through to weaning. So there are lots of things that we could talk about when it comes to calf shed design, calf housing and animal health when it comes to calf rearing. But for the purposes of today, we're just going to focus on the ones that are really important for nutrition and calf growth. And that is around shelter, warmth and ventilation. So as you can see, we've got a beautiful shed here in that it's facing the north, it's warm, uh, there's really good shelter from the prevailing wind that comes from the west. And we've got some calves that are very relaxed and very calm uh, in these conditions. What we don't want is that we get a shed that is so well uh, covered and uh, provides so much shelter that it, that it actually doesn't have enough ventilation. So we need to be able to kneel down in these pens, have dry knees, but not be able to smell ammonia. It shouldn't be drafty, we shouldn't be able to smell ammonia. It should be nicely ventilated, but sheltered and warm for these calves. If it's not warm, these calves will just spend more and more of their energy and, grow, and trying to keep warm and shivering and fighting disease and less energy and growth. And I think one of the things we really underestimate here in New Zealand is how cold and the wind chill that these calves are born in and the effect that it actually has on the calf growth. So getting them inside, getting them in shelter, out of those conditions, nice and warm, warm milk. If we don't warm the milk for these calves, the calves will have to use their own energy to warm it themselves. So getting a nice house for these calves somewhere where you would like to be on a rainy day and then we can get the most out of their growth and their performance and their health as well. So thanks for coming along. I've really enjoyed talking to you today. I hope you've taken something out of it and you've learnt something uh, about calf rearing and calf nutrition from birth through to weaning. We're always here to help and especially with our local TFRs. Make sure you get into contact. We are always here for a helping hand and um, always here to find the answers for you. Thanks.